Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Color and Create with SU Rock Art. I truly appreciate you joining me. I hope everyone's having a great day. Color and Create with SU Rock Art is an open collaboration. Everyone is welcome to participate and I am your host. There's two parts to this collaboration. There's the coloring part and the creating part. You're welcome to do one or the other or both. We upload our videos on Mondays using the hashtag Color and Create with us, you rock art. For the coloring part, we are working our way through this bold and easy coloring book. Now, if you don't have this coloring book, don't worry. Color whatever you have on hand. For the creating part, just share what you are working on. All right, just a little bit of an update on where we're at. We have seven pages left in this coloring book. So once we have completed our last page, the following week, I would like everyone to do a flip through. That's what I'm planning to do. I want to do a flip through of all the completed pages. Now, if you haven't followed along in this coloring book, share all the pages that you have colored. If you can gather them up and just share them all with us. We'd love to see everybody's completed pages. And then we will get started on our new coloring book. Now, I have had a lot of comments where people have just jumped in and joined the collaboration. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's so fun to see so many people uh, joining in the collaboration and having so much fun. This is our next book. I ordered this early in the year and I paid about $7. I ordered it from Amazon and I thought it would be a change from the two previous coloring books that we have done. It's super, super cute and I've received a lot of feedback from everyone that they are excited to start this new book. I think it's really, really cute and I'm excited to get started with this. All right, this week I did both parts of the collaboration. And before I show you my completed page for this week, um, I just want to mention that I altered this page just a little bit. Many of you know that uh, for religious purposes, I do not drink alcohol. So I felt a little uncomfortable uh, coloring a wine bottle. Well, I was watching Pat, and her channel is Crafting with Pat, and she said the same thing. And she said she was going to put another label on that wine bottle and just make it something else. And I'm like, oh my gosh, perfect. I love her idea. So I did the same thing. So here's my page, and what I did is I made this into apple cider. And so to color uh, the apple cider in here, I used a glitter... Uh, marker and then uh, I colored my page my grapes my cheese and the leaves and then right here I know it was supposed to probably be a wooden board but I started coloring it gray and I'm like it could be a stone uh, so that's what I did for this week and a big thanks to Pat for mentioning that I think that was perfect so there's my page for this week. And by the way, Jack is the one that um, I cut out this little uh, piece of cardstock, teeny, teeny. And Jack is the one that wrote uh, apple cider. And then I colored it in with the same color that I used for uh, the apple cider in the glass. So there's the page. I, I, yeah, I was happy with that. Here's the page for next week. Oh, I can't. Sometimes I have a hard time to see if I'm actually showing it to you. Okay, there we go. That's for next week. All right, and for the create part, more beaded pens. I love making these. I got these charms from Hobby Lobby uh, this past week, and I had to pull them off the package and make beaded pens with them because I thought they were so, so cute. Now, um, I'm going to show them to you, but I think I want Jack to put another link on them so they dangle just a little bit. But here's the first one. Look how cute. I think they're so cute. So I tried to pull the colors that were in the little lollipop and use that color of pen. So there's the first one. Here's another one. See how it doesn't kind of dangle that well? Uh, again, I'm going to have Jack just put a little bit of a chain on there just so it dangles just a bit better. There's that one. I did one, two, three, four, five. Here's the other one. 
cute. Those are so fun to make. And let's see. Here's another one. Such fun, fun colors. And then Jack saw this one because uh, he was busy doing stuff in the garage. And then when he came in, uh, I showed him the pens. And he said, this one matches the beads perfect. Even the stripe, uh, on, uh, even the colors on the stripe is perfect to the bead. So I'll let you see that. So cool. I love making these. These are so, so fun. So just a little bit of uh, more work to do with these. Again, I just want Jack to put a little bit more of a chain on there so they dangle just a little bit more. But those are the pens that I worked on. So cute, so colorful and fun. All right. That is uh, what I have for Color and Create with a Shoe Rock Art. Again, Thanks to everyone that is participating, and if you just jumped in, just join along. We'd love to have you. Thanks for hanging out with me for just a bit. I truly appreciate it. Till next time, be safe, be happy, be positive, and you guys rock.